I remember buying my first guitar because uh, everybody at school was learning skiffle when it seemed possible, you know, two or three chords for the, the more talented. Uh, I remember playing with Archie Fisher and various other heads from the school where I hadn't learned guitar when I was playing a soap packet with a pair of brushes. So I got a guitar and practiced. Well, I spent 11 pounds for the guitar with a free set of strings. It's called a Michigan. It had to sound American, you know. <laughs> it was probably made in the Lithuania or somewhere. Uh, I couldn't afford the, the great book of the time, which was called uh, Play in a Day by Bert Whedon. I got a cheaper copy, you know, Play in 24 Hours by Fred Whedon. And he turned to the beginning, and it was all lines and dots uh, where your finger should go, you know. And, uh, the chord of D was supposed to take five minutes. It took me five weeks. You know, so I was getting buzzers. <laughs> the fingers were bloody bleeding, but I... <laughs> A7 took me only about two weeks. I turned a page, and I always remember the words, you are now ready to surprise and delight your friends and neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> By singing and playing guitar at the same time, you know, and I thought, well, I think I'll go and surprise and delight some of the friends and neighbors, you know. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. They, they were surprised. <laughs> they didn't seem delighted, you know. A few moved away. Could have been a coincidence. <laughs> but as slow learners, you know, I was in a... It be a nice thing, a slow Olympics with gold medals for the people who come last. Like the slow cycling. And Ian Bruce song I could bloody really identify with. And a chorus. Do you remember the chorus? <laughs> I can play. No, wait a minute. I'll take it lower. What the hell? I keep forgetting I'm not a boy soprano anymore. The tight trousers, you know. I used to pay a fortune for tight trousers. Now it's difficult to get ones that are not tight. You know? <laughs> I'm always optimistic, you know, but no, no, I'll take the 52 waist and I'll slim into them. <laughs> I got a hoose full of clay that don't fit me, you know. <laughs> I'll never get so, ah, oh, no, well, give me a 56 waist and I'll fucking grow into it. <laughs> Chorus. 